The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, March 13th, the fight of the year. The fight of the year. Roman Chalatito Gonzalez takes on Gaia Estrada in a much anticipated rematch. Eight years on from their first fight, which was an absolute classic. You know, in this video right here is gonna be why or how, how Juan Francisco Estrada, hell El Gallo Estrada, conquers the real TBE and cements his place as the number one super flyweight in the world. Now, the WBA championship, the, the WBA title, WBC title as super flyweight will be on the line in this fight. And, you know, I made it no secret. I made it no secret. I think Roma Gonzalez, Chot Latito, the real TBE, he's gonna beat Gallo again. That's just my opinion. But let me let me take my uh, my Roma Gonzalez and pom poms down and put them down for a second. And let's talk about how how does Gallo Estrada beat Chalatito? Because listen, the reality is this: whether I want to admit it or not, Gallo Estrada is gonna go in as a favorite in this fight. He's gonna go in as the guy that people are picking to win. You know, um, people people that support Gallo Estrada. You know, they believe that because he's more mature, he's gotten some more quality ring experience in the professional ranks. Since the first fight, you know, he's fought Brian Valoria. He's fought, uh, Rung, uh, he fought uh, Rung Beside twice. You know, he's fought Quadras twice. You know, he's, he's, he's got, he's put in the time. He's paid his dues to become uh, who he is today in the sport of boxing. So all credit goes to him. But how does he beat Chalatito? Because when we talk about Guy Alistair, we talk about a guy that is known for being one of the best, if not the best counter puncher in the sport of boxing. But I think to just to, to just call him a counter puncher, to just put him in that box being a counter puncher would be a discredit and a disservice to the totality of who Guy Estrada is as a fighter. He's a complete fighter. You know, he's shown it you know, um, in many fights, you know, that he's a complete fighter. You know, he's creme to the creme. He's top of the top. You know, uh, he's shown an excellent blend of boxing skills, toughness and the ability to fight if he has to fight. You know, I think his last fight with Quadras was a very good example of that. We saw Carlos Quadras, a guy that, um, you know, a guy that, that was once world champion, once the number one guy at super flyweight, but we know that he isn't what he isn't at his best anymore. And a lot of people, myself included, didn't think that he was gonna compete as well as he did. And credit to him, he, he, he he's very awkward. He throw punches from weird angles and he was able to score a knockdown early in that fight. Which, you know, if, if your guy, you know, as a Chalatito fan, is very encouraging because I know Chalatito isn't as awkward as a, as a Carlos Quadras. He does the punches from the, from the weird angles uh, Quadras does, but he's a, he's a more compact puncher. Um, I think that straight right hand of his is, is, is going to be a very big key in the fight. But for Gaio Estrada, it's, just, it's, it's very simple how you beat Chalatito. And, and, and I've always said beating Chalatito is, is, is very, very hard. Only one guy has done it in 53 fights. Um, only one guy has done it in 53 fights, but um, it's very simple, but it's hard to do. It's hard to do. It's freaking hard. You don't beat Chalatito Gonzalez unless you back him up. If you, if, if you can't back him up, you lose. That's what's been shown to us in the professional ring so far. Um, the only guy that's been able to, to do that for a, a prolonged amount of time in the ring has been Sister Kid Sorong beside. So I think in the first three rounds, Gaio Estrada has to... He has to he has to hit Chalatito with something to get his respect. He doesn't gotta necessarily win the rounds. He doesn't necessarily have to um even be competitive the first two or three rounds because Guy Estrada is known as a late starter. All he has to do in the first couple of rounds is really hit Chalatito with something to get his respect and make Chalatito think twice about coming in. If he can do that, then the percentages of him winning this fight, they increase dramatically. Um, and, it, and it allows him to, to if he can hit Chalatito with something to get his respect, it allows him to use his best attributes, which is his outside boxing ability, his ability to counter punch, his timing. You know, those things don't come into play um, as much unless he's able to get Chalatito's respect. And people are thinking that's going to be the case because when they fought the first time, Gaio Estrada was younger. Chalatito was in his prime. Uh, Gaio Estrada came, I believe, from 112 down to 108. So people are of the mindset that because he's having to scale down, that this is going to be his fight. You see what I'm saying? Now, if you're Gaia Estrada, the other way you win this fight, aside from the offensive side of things, 
defensively, you know, you have to you have to be able to be disciplined enough for 12 rounds, much like he was in the Young Vasai fight, to uh, try to avoid slugging it out with Chalatito as much as possible. Now, I don't know what this fight's going to be. At the time I'm shooting this video, they haven't announced it yet, but let's just say this fight's at the StubHub Center. You know, a place that's, that's, that's for now, it's not, it's not even called the StubHub Center no more. Now it's called the Dignity Health Sports Park. So let's say it's there at that place, a place which has produced so many wars and great fights over the years. If it's there, if, if it's in a venue like that, there's going to be a lot of uh, Nicaraguans there. There's going to be a, a lot of Mexicans there. And there's going to be a lot of nationalistic pride in the air that night. A lot to be fought for that night. And I know it's going to be very difficult for Guy Wachara to stay composed and do that. But he has to. Because if he doesn't, he's, he's fighting Chalatito's fight. He's allowing Chalatito to, 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 to fight the fight he wants to do where he's, he's throwing four or five punches. He's stepping around you. He's shifting weight um, on, the, on, on the balls of his feet. And he's, and he's landing body shots, placing them real well. And he, he, if he's not careful, he might be on the end of one of those straight right hands, which has been putting a lot of people out. You know, ask Moises Fuentes. Ask, uh, ask Cal Yafai. You know? Um, and Chalatito, he's not... People, people say he's not, he's not as good as he used to be, which is true, because he set such a high bar when he was at his best. But he's still damn good. He showed it in his last fight against Israel Gonzalez, a younger fighter who was, I, I think he was like, a, he was about seven years younger. He had about a seven inch reach advantage. And um, Chalatito just worked him for 12 rounds. And, won, and, and beat a guy who, in my opinion, is, is one of the best fighters in the division. You know, not, that's not a champion. And made him look like he was nothing. You know, because we, we, saw, we saw Israel Gonzalez against Kalia Fai, and he didn't, he didn't look that good against Kalia Fai. So, um, yeah, Guy Estrada's plan is, is, is not, it's not, it's, you know, you don't got to overthink it. Sorry, car won't buy me. But you don't got to overthink it. Um, all he's got to do, it really is just, is just put himself in a position to, to land the sort of punches that are going to put him in position to bring out his best attributes, which are his counter punching and his timing. So this fight, He's got to back up Chalatito, and he's got to hit him with punches in the first, in the first couple of rounds to get his respect. And then the thing is, the thing is about Chalatito, the thing, that, the thing is, it's not even maybe maybe it's not even that simple because now now I'm talking and I'm, and I'm and I'm and I'm thinking even more about it. We've seen Chalatito go through hell and back to try to win a fight. We saw when he fought Rumbasai in the first fight. You know he had the head he got dropped in the first round, had the head clash in the second, and he fought even harder. He fought even harder. Um, when adversity struck and I still think he's got that in him so maybe it's not as simple as just hitting him with something hard in the first couple of rounds I think he's gonna have to continue to do it throughout the whole fight and stay composed while doing it and, and, not, and not get off his game plan so that's just my little synopsis on how I think guy was trying to beat Chalatito you give me yours down below um who you picking down below make sure you take the time to subscribe and like I say in every single one of these videos you can love me or you can hate me but I'm just a kid from Daniel so until next time take care guys